It's always very important for parents to help their kids stay alcohol free, plus their support in the community. I want to bring in Susanna Burt. She is with Weaver Communities That Care. Hi, Miss Susanna. Hi. Hi. Okay, so let's talk. First things first, you guys are doing a big event, and we'll get into that, but I want to know more about you guys, because I actually haven't heard about it. Yeah, so Weaver Communities That Care is actually a coalition up in Weber County that focuses on all of the areas that feed into Weber High School, um, who, mm-hmm. by the way, state Scottish soccer champs this week, so way to go. Woo! Um, but what we do is we focus on ways that we can make our community healthier for kids, and we need kids and adults to help us do all that. So that's where this coalition comes into play, and hopefully with this event on Saturday will help us. Fantastic. Well, let's talk about the event. What is it? Yeah, so we're partnering with Lee's Marketplace and Parents Empowered, and Lee's Marketplace is a local grocery store here in our community, Uh, and we're doing a campaign that is promoting how parents can work with their kids or do bonding activities with their kids, and we're having a press event on Saturday, and one of the easiest things is cooking or doing events like having family dinner with your kids. doesn't have to be huge. It just could be a small minute or two. baking brownies even, but this summer as things change, you're either working or you're gonna be all over in different activities. This is the time that we need to take to really monitor kids and check in with them. Yeah, absolutely, and I think you said it perfectly. It doesn't have to be this really heavy, you know, conversation that you're having with the kids, and I think it sometimes makes the parent and the child feel awkward, but just that time being spent, and I think I'm surprised with how many kids actually don't drink because of their parents, not necessarily their friends, right? Correct. We're still, like, we think after a certain age that their friends are the ones that are influencing more. We, as the parents, are still the number one influence of kids, and I think that's where we can take those carpool moments that are like 10, 15 minutes or going on a short walk, again, making dinner, just checking in with them every day to make sure they understand that they can come and talk to you. And when you have those relationships, the kids will bond to you and the community more and are more likely to share how they feel. Yes, absolutely. Well, if they want to, you know, be a part of the event or find out more information, where can they go? Parentsempower.org and Weber Community at Care on Facebook. Fantastic. Susanna, thanks so much for being here. Thanks so much, Jenny.